numbers. Then for customer profile, we are talking about gains, customer jobs, and also pins as well. Okay. So what I want you to do is okay, yeah. So before that, um, like what I mentioned, treat yourself as the owner of the organization. Think from the perspective as LCP or MC, okay? Although I know that um some of you uh I mean you don't know how MC or LCP do, but think uh but then um uh, take up of I mean take out your sales uh, pips functions experience. Think as uh, think as an Isaac does, okay? So second thing I want to do is that be specific in the answers. So mainly I only have two questions for you. So first thing is that who is our organization most important beneficiaries and why? And then what values are we providing to them in the end? Okay. So I will split you into us um different teams. So it wouldn't be uh, in the same LC. It's going to be random. So yeah. So I will I, I will need you to discuss with your team to come up with these two parts. Who is our organization most important beneficiaries and why? And what values are we providing to them in the end? And yeah, so um, you can focus on these two parts. And then this graph at the bottom for you is just something that you can do after, I mean, after you finish this value proposition and customers. Okay. So I will split you into group, but then before that, do you have any questions you have? Or you are clear? Okay, nice. Thanks, Ani. Okay, yeah. Um, I will be splitting around. Yeah, I will be um, opening a breakout room right now. So you would have around, yeah, I will give you around 10 minutes. Okay, so yeah, you can join and I will share. The, wait, uh, before that, let me share the link first so we can go inside the breakout room. Yeah, so I put, I put it in two groups, uh, two different groups as well. So you can also go through. Yeah. So um, there will be around 14 rooms. Now. So room one, room six, you use the first one. Then uh, room six, room seven to room 14, use the second one. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you can join. Okay. Thanks everyone um, for coming back. So yeah, I think it's the same. Let's spend one minute to go through. So I think you can go through your own groups. And I mean, you can go through different groups as well. I think there are around 14 groups. Lah. Just spend one minute to go through. I'll give you one minute time. Okay, nice. So I think based on your based on the observations in different groups, right? What is the insights that you're able to find out? Any or maybe based on the discussion with your team, there are any sharings that you want to give? Yeah, let's have any one or sharing or anyone anyone would like to go. Maybe I can share. I'm from group 11. Mm. So uh, actually based on our discussion, our, I think uh, we think our main beneficiaries for the organization will be youth. So our customer, we set it uh, as youth. And for the customer job, we don't really think they have a job. Like maybe they are mostly and mainly students. Mm. And the games, 
for youth will be some personal development and also the experience talk like shared by uh, experienced people during conference or somehow. Mm -hmm. And the pain will be lack of opportunities because uh, youth are still young. They might lack of experience for any, any good opportunities, but they might can find the opportunities in Isaac. And mm -hmm. also the frustration of virtual mood and lack of company brand awareness. Huh? This is also the pain. And for the value proposition, the products and services that we can provide would be volunteering projects, youth speak forum, like global talent and local talent. And also the national conference and networking events, workshops. These are uh, mainly what Isaac uh, are always doing for the youth and also to empower them. And the game creator will be organize some youth empowerment projects and to bridge the gap between youth and organization. And the pain really will, uh, we are getting to understand the youth and also the organizational needs and provide various programs such as bite size. Mm -hmm. Close the gap between youth and company. I think that's all from group 11. Thank you. Nice. Thanks, Hui Ping, for sharing. So um, you want to choose uh, one of your friends? It can be from different LCS, right? Um, maybe Lavanya. Uh, okay. Uh, so for ours, it's like what we got is uh, for the customer profile, we choose youth as like one of the first people, like uh, most beneficiary. Uh, and then the games is like more into like internship networking and also opportunities and experiences are like outside of like studying uh customer job is like we only put like like they become students or like they want to do internship or like develop soft skills and most of their um uh, pains is like more into like prioritizing what they want to do or like they have difficulty choosing correct platform or like they don't even have the exposure to the correct platforms and also unpaid internships as well uh, so our value proposition, the main thing is that personal development uh, and uh, exposure for corporate world and also community impact. So the products, the, sec, the, the one that we can see the channel, uh, YSF, LVV, Isaac membership, VPP, uh, conferences that we have in Isaac itself. Uh, and then the green creators is like more into like be able to work in a diverse culture of people and also create the impact of community through projects as well. Uh, and also the relievers is like pay relievers like more into like they are able to like have their time management through joining the projects, leadership development, and also more exposure to corporate world by doing internship as well. I think that's all. Thank you. Okay, thanks Lawa. Thanks for for sharing. So yeah, so I think when I was go through right, it kind of actually led me to found that actually each group right you have different value proposition and different target beneficiaries. So I have questions, right? Is that actually, shouldn't we be aligned? Uh, I mean, shouldn't we have aligned vision, aligned customers and also aligned value proposition when we are in the same organization? But then I think just on based on the groups that we have, right? Uh, I can clearly see that uh, we have different, different, I mean, each of us will have different kind of customers that we want to target. We have FT, we have LP, we have youth, uh, we have, um, I mean, we have students as well. So yeah, what do you think is actually um, our main beneficiaries as well, okay? So I think here's just a very short question for you to really reflect a bit that actually, who is our main um, target beneficiaries or what is our main value proposition? Because I think it's a bit weird because if let's say each of us have our own definition of target, benefit, uh, target beneficiaries and also you have a proposition. So I think it's for, it's for everyone here, Not I mean, not only MC, not only LCVP, not only director, but it's for everyone here as well to really understand that what is our main value proposition and customer segments as well. And I think this is the same thing for, I mean, when, um, I mean, when uh, I'm in the MC team doing with the rest of the MCs, we also have different um, understanding as well. Yeah. So I think we come to conclusion. So this is just, um an example and also what we do from MC side. So I think for us, customer segments, we put Isaac membership because I think that is the most important stakeholders for us to take care of. Yeah, because um, we believe that if let's say we take good care of Isaac membership, it will actually impact all of the youth around us and also even the companies, even the community around us as well. 
So, I mean, uh, we put other membership as the most important, not saying that we don't care about the rest, but we will put much more prioritization towards ISAC membership as the most important stakeholders for us. So this is from MC side. Yeah? And then for value proposition, it's quite simple. We will have four. First is personal development, true practical and team experience. Second is network and connection. So you have um, connection with different companies, um, networking with different people as well. Third is in and other journey. When you lead, uh, we have one-to-one, -one, we have PDP, yeah, I think all this is also the inner journey and also other journey, all the team experience, all the hard skills that you have as well. Last part is also leadership development model, as that values. Yeah. So this is the four unique value proposition that we can give and how we differentiate ourselves between Isaac and different organizations. So I think, yeah, that's the questions that I also have for everyone is that um, what is our value proposition and who is our customer segments? Okay. So um and as I see in the chat is that some groups prioritize youth as beneficiary and others prioritize partners, right? So um, I'll be sharing more later so you can see who do you think is the most important beneficiaries for us. Yeah. So I think just one message is very important to have the same picture as an organization because we are the face towards external. So imagine each of us delivering different, different messages towards um, partners that will be confused. Huh? So I think it's good that we align together as an organization to have the same picture. Okay, so yeah, I actually learned it through the hard way. So um, for me, a lot of time um, when I'm, I mean, when I'm doing sales, I thought that uh, we actually need to prioritize partner. But then at the end, it, will, it always come back towards youth because, um, our, because I think Isaac as a youth organization, we should actually prioritize youth um, all the time. Yeah, so uh, I will going to share a very short story as um, the closing. Yeah, so I think this is my journey as CCPD. So you can see there's Mini here, there's Swaron, there's PK. So I think uh, you will meet all of them later because they are going to be the first in the sessions later. Yeah, so CC is actually um, International Congress, uh, which is um, the event that's happened around last two months. So it's all the LCPs that are able to join in. And then actually, especially you see this logo, right? This IC is actually a symbol of Malaysian flag. Huh? So in Malaysia flag, you have red color, yellow color, and blue color, right? And then white color. So you can see the white is the 14 stripes, include, uh, which means like the 14, I mean like the 14 things of the star. I don't know how to uh, describe, yeah, but this is the this is a symbol of Malaysia flag, if I say you check, okay? Yeah. So I so I think when we started from um CCPD, we actually started from scratch. Huh? So we actually didn't know what are the things that we should do. So, and then we are actually identifying what is our main customer segments and also our main market. So this is like a very simple market research that we do. So I think throughout the market research, uh, uh, we actually did a lot of things. We did CSR, we kind of actually understand what CSR have. We kind of actually understand that does company actually have employer branding initiative. And then we kind of actually identify who can we report that. So yeah, we actually conducted quite a lot of companies, I would say around, I knew the 200 companies, yeah. So going to next, um, we actually are everywhere. La. We, we actually focus on a lot of things. Like we actually focus on um, MPD, like bite size. And that time we are thinking that it, it's going to be physical. So we're thinking of combo with each IC booth. And then another thing is so we are thinking of CSI as well. Like we're thinking of laptop sponsor, keynote publicity, social media campaign, employee engagement workshop, different, different things. And the, the last thing is also, yeah. From MPD side, it's definitely like the exact things that we are doing. Like you speak forum, um, uh, DSWNC, bite size as well. So uh, we actually focus on a lot, a lot of things. And then we kind of, uh, we kind of are a bit lost. And we don't have any progress for the first four months. So yeah, I know that um, some of us here might have experienced that. Like you're doing a lot, a lot of things. Um, you are doing so hard. But then there's no progress for you. So you're starting to wonder what are the things that um, we are doing. Or are we doing the right thing as well? So we sit down and discuss. Um, so that's, a, that, that's just three main questions that we have asked ourselves. So the first thing is that, does it tackle towards what partners need and move once? When we are doing the portfolio or when we're doing any partnership things, does it actually tackle to what partners want and also what move once? And second thing is that, are we utilizing our strength in creating portfolios? So um, when we are doing portfolios, are we utilizing the things that we have or we are actually utilizing other resources or what are the things that we are, using, we are using. And lastly is that, what are the impacts we wish to see from the whole partnership? Yeah, I would say this is the most important thing. Like after the whole partnership itself, what do you want um, us to feel? You want partners to be fulfilled or you want youth to be fulfilled or what's the end job that you want to see? Yeah. So I think 
after these three questions, we kind of actually come up with a conclusion with this portfolio, right? So we actually come up with bite size portfolio. So this is how we actually come up with the whole concept of bite size. We actually innovate a lot. We actually changes a lot throughout the throughout the first five months. We keep on changing different different portfolios, and in the end, we managed to come up with this whole bite size portfolio. Although I wouldn't say it's very, very successful, but I would say it's a very good start for us to kind of understand that how we can utilize our strength and how we can utilize our network around us to come up with this part. Yeah. So I think the three main questions is, does it tackle towards what partners needs and youth wants? I think this is my question for you is that, do you really spend time to think about the things that we are doing? Are the things, I mean, does the things that we do really tackle towards what youth needs? Do, uh, does it really tackle towards what your community needs? Or you just do because... Um, you think it's based on your assumption and you think that is what you think is as well. Or do you actually have uh, have a very concrete market research to actually support your point? So that actually partners actually need these things a lot. Yeah, so this is the first question. Second thing is that, are we utilizing our strength in creating portfolio? Because a lot of time when we are creating portfolio, we just think that, oh, because my IG project actually have this thing, so I can just utilize this part. Or actually I think, oh, um, um, we have been doing this for the past year. So I just think that, oh, we can just utilize this thing to do. Or maybe for IGTA or because this is the main thing we need to do. So I'm just doing uh, because based on the things I need to do. So I would say is that the strength of Isaac is always my membership at Youth Network. So be it when we partner with companies, we partner with different different um, companies as well. Uh, what they see is that they always see the youth network that we have. They always see the youth, uh, the membership that we have. This is also one of the main reasons that why they partner with us. And I would say we are youth and we understand the youth the best. Yeah. So I can give my example is, I think when I'm partnering with UOB, so I mean, we're one of the bite-sized partners. Um, she shared that like, um, we hope that this partner's initiative is always contributing back towards youth because we really want to see that youth can really benefit from the touch point that we have. I mean, we know that no matter how is the ending of the whole partnership, uh, like maybe there might not be people um, joining us or there might, there might not be people applying, but we hope that youth are actually able to learn the things that we actually share to them and then they're actually able to apply, which can actually improve their life better. Yeah, so this is like um, what we always want to see in the partnership itself. And then lastly is, what are the impact we wish to see from the whole partnership? I would say, the angle of partnership always contributing packs towards the community and the youth around us. It's not always about partners, but it's always about youth itself. So no matter what event you do, like you are doing a Y event, in the end, all the, ben all the beneficiaries always go back towards youth. If you're doing PD, it's the same thing, which all the, which all the things are going back towards the community, going back towards the people around us, which makes the world a better place as well. Yeah, so I think that's also the question that I asked in the beginning. Um, yeah, how do you describe Isaac to yourself and also uh, who is our main customer segments? Yeah, so I would say it's always around youth. Lah. So it's to really understand that uh, youth is the most important uh, assets for this organization. I mean, partners is also important, but always prioritize youth as the first experience. Lah. Yeah, I think lastly, I think that's the end of my sharing and let's try for more partnership. Uh, but then it's by you for you. Lah. So at the end, I hope that each of the partners things, partnership that we have is always contributing back towards what we have is also towards the youth part. Yeah. So I think that's the end of my sharing and my sessions. Thanks everyone for attending. And I will pass back to Eugene. Um, yeah, to actually uh, see what's the next space for agenda.